So we made it through the uh, made it through the first night. Uh, Mike's just over there grabbing our stuff, and it looks wicked out here. It's really foggy. It rained on and off all night. Stayed reasonably dry, and then the tent stayed dry, so that was pretty cool. I don't know how we're going to keep it dry now, but hopefully we can pack all this stuff up before it rains again. So Mike's down there scrubbing out a pan that we ultimately destroyed making those steaks last night. Uh, yeah, no, it's just really dirty. So Mike got me the uh, Arrow, the Arrow Press coffee maker, and it's really cool. And you get like a nice actual cup of coffee. <laughs> Did it clean? Nice. <laughs> like what if it rained and just took them all away? Yeah, Mike was asking about the beer weir down there. That is mountain, mountain cold right there. Glacier fed. Anyways, and there it goes. So, we got all of our stuff packed up, and we're just doing a final sweep here of our campsite. Honestly, I don't want to leave. Neither does Mike. We could both stay here for a few days. We had good fishing yesterday. Got a bunch of uh, kokanee salmon, a couple of cutthroats. And now we got the canoe all packed up. Mike's just tying in the last couple of things there. And then we're out. We're floating. So that's the this is the start of day two. Boulder Rapids. We did the ledge. We know we did the ledge, but we don't know about Boulder, right? Yeah. So so this is potentially we've got Boulder and then this, right? Yeah. How many K is this? Uh yeah. So it's like 35 kilometers to the White River, I guess. Okay. Well, that's a big one there, Mike. Let's uh, move over a bit here. Yeah, I don't see any rocks. That's good. Woo! I'm taking on some water here, though. Okay. <laughs> There's a couple of high ones here, Mike. Hold up, hold up. Woo. Ooh, man, you even get a little bit sideways and those one hits you in the side and oh, it's a lot of weight. <laughs> that just friggin' crept up out of nowhere, eh? Yeah. Woo. Woo. <laughs> That's cold. Grab my armpit. Okay, we got to get the water out of the boat, though. <laughs> we need to bail. <laughs> okay, let's pull over here, Mike. That was awesome. <sighs> oh, yeah, groin tug, groin tug. Look at the water, Mike. So, took on a little water there. We're gonna have to bail that out. Okay, hold up, we're gonna get hit from the side. Just be ready for it to get rocked here. Woohoo! Sweeper on the right. Okay, you got a couple big ones here. Okay, we're going right down the pipe. There's some pretty look, kind of pointy rollers. Okay, straightening it out. Hold up. <laughs> okay, that, that made me pucker right there. Yeah. So Mike and I are at uh, Horseshoe Falls here. And we're just doing a little test. Uh, to see if we can what we can do with the canoe and this looks pretty hairy we're just trying to figure out the best line to go through i've picked our line we're going down the horseshoe falls but hey we got a plan if we flip it we'll float with it if we swamp it we'll get it to the slow spot we'll go around that and that's when it that's when things change ready this is the spot right here. That's the seam, okay? Here we go. Drop. 
Couple more, couple more. Woo! <laughs> that was uh, uh. That was actually really easy. <laughs> that wasn't bad. Well, we hit we hit that on the pins, man. That was exactly the spot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Couple of steep ones, Mike. So guys, that was the end of a three-day trip uh, down the Kootenay River in British Columbia, Canada. Um, it was it was radical. It was wet. It was cold. It was painful. It was painful, and it was exhausting. And it was awesome. It was awesome. We had a great time. So guys, if you liked the video, please click the clicks. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.